First stop on the Maison de Calou tour was the trophy room, with its obligatory pool table centerpiece, although it's strictly for cosmetic purposes. I have this here because I didn't want to put just the picture and have an empty, empty place here, so I just put the table. But I'm not really good at it, so um, I never play that. Yeah, you see, I don't play. That's my DVDs. I have a lot of games. When I play PlayStation, I play with uh, Barcelona. And I'm the first choice, not the, the third one. <laughs> Music? Um, I have a couple of CDs that I have down there. <sighs> That's the one. She's talented and she's beautiful. Think she might like a footballer? Uh, she's too busy with the industry of music there, you know, she won't, she don't have time for football. <laughs> I don't think so. G-Sports were in the Ugandan capital of Kampala recently to see the Sub-Saharan launch of Premier Skills, the joint initiative between the Premier League and the British Council. The scheme, which hopes to see an improvement in coaching standards in the grassroots game throughout the developing world, was the brainchild of G-Sports' very own Robbie Earle, an ex-Newcastle and England defender Warren Barton. Okay, what we're going to try and work on is your technique. You must have good technique, nice strong ankle so you can just volley the ball back. Make sure you keep your eye on the ball, nice strong ankle. So I'm just going to serve it into you. Perfect. So good defenders, always on their toes, nice strong legs, adjusting. And one thing is important, focus on the ball. True African boy. <laughs> <laughs> So we saw one guy who won something. He was from South America. He didn't know how to speak English. So he only knew how to say, I like you, I like you, I like everyone. Then he said, Thank you. <laughs> We're eating Sadza. This is our stable food in Zimbabwe. Everyone knows Sadza in Zimbabwe. And we have to find the right person to cook it so that you enjoy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mama DCDB. I'm playing for Stock City. This is my home. This is uh, the picture it's coming from Mali. But representing Mali almost ended Mama's dreams. In 2007, he was the victim of a shocking and brutal knife attack from Togolese fans. The fans start to, to come down to the, to the pitch. And um, in first place, we saw our fan coming to the pitch. I think they come to the pitch to celebrate the, 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 the win. No, from far away, we can, you can see the blood on, the, on our face. And uh, at that moment when I was, um, I was uh, in ambulance, I said, no, I can't, I can't uh, come back play again uh, in Africa because uh, it's, too, it's too dangerous. 